Hi, George Cow here. I want to show you the Zoom feature I'm most excited about really in the past few years. It just came out. It's called the Zoom AI Summary. Now, I know not everyone watching this is a fan of artificial intelligence, but bear with me here and watch what this is able to do. So first of all, what it does is if you turn it on, which I'll show you later how to do, it, it can summarize your meetings. And this is particularly useful if you are meeting with a client that doesn't, that's not anti-AI and doesn't mind having AI summarize the, the, the meeting notes. Now, uh, just to be clear, Zoom has, clarif Zoom has clarified that they are not uh, taking the data from your meeting, your, your, your words, your um, images, whatever you show in the meeting. They're not taking that to train AI. They're just using it to send you a private summary. So I, whether you're meeting with a client or whether you are teaching a, a class session or a webinar uh, or you're recording a podcast, it can send you a very detailed meeting summary. Let me go ahead and show you what it looks like. Okay, so this was a 25-minute meeting that I did. I did nothing other than turn the AI summary on and look what it's sent me from a 25 minute meeting. Look, look how detailed these notes are. And like I said, I did no editing. Uh, I just had the meeting. I, it was a class I was teaching. And after the class, it sent this to me within half an hour. Um, and you could see that it's the language is very, I mean, it's, it's grammatically correct. And it really got all the key concepts in here. I was quite, um, you know, surprised, baffled by how it was able to do all this. Basically, the way it's doing it is it is uh, transcribing it privately in the back end and then using something like GPT-4 to, and whenever you're watching this, it may be GPT-5, 6, 7, I don't know what they're using now, to su summarize each section. So what it seems to be doing is it will transcribe for a few minutes and then it will it will summarize it that that segment and then it will go on to the next section and the next section so that way it's able to summarize quite a long meeting whether i've had 25 minute meetings i've had uh 70 minute meetings it would do the same thing which it would do quite a great summary of all this so let me go ahead and show you how to turn this thing on so first thing you need to do is to log into your zoom account via the web. Uh, I noticed that this was necessary. Can't do it through just the um, just the Zoom uh, offline desktop app. But you got to log into your Zoom account online and then click on settings on the left hand side here. OK, and you will notice that there is an AI companion option now. And when you go there, you basically want to turn these on this one on and, and this one on and there may be other options uh, in the future uh, and what I do is check this box automatically start the meeting summary you might not want to do that especially if you have um, some clients might be uh, you know shy about or resistant to AI and uh, let me show you what happens when you turn it on okay let me just go ahead and show you when a client joins your meeting, if you have it automatically turned on, this is what they're going to see. I'm going to go ahead and show you now. Okay. They're going to see this disclaimer. Meeting with summary, AI companion is on, da, 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 da. And then people can leave the meeting or click got it. So this is why you, if you have resistant, AI resistant clients or people you're meeting with, you probably should not automatically turn it on because they might get scared and not join the meeting at all. But um, anyway, let me go and click got it. When, when they, if they click got it, then they will be able to join the meeting and it'll, it'll act normally. Um, you can click on the AI companion down here to uh, click start. AI companion is on. And the, meet, the people who have access to this can basically ask questions about what, what's been said in the meeting thus far, this particular meeting, what's been said thus far, or later on in the meeting, they can ask more questions. You know, what, you know, what I, I missed something George said about da-da-da. So they can ask the AI these kinds of questions. Um, yeah, so the uh, let me go ahead and end this meeting now. And um, uh, yeah, I'm, I'm just going to... Well, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to ignore this for now. I'm going to go ahead and go back and show you these settings. So... Uh, you can decide wh who you want to share the meeting summary with. 
meeting invitees are people you actually use the Zoom meeting invitation, like you put in their email addresses and things like that. Um, oftentimes we just send like a Zoom meeting link to somebody and so they won't get the summary unless you email it to them uh, if you don't use the Zoom official tool to, to invite them through their email addresses. And I want to show you if you cannot turn this on, okay, if you cannot turn this on, scroll down on the left-hand side and click on account management and then click on account settings. This is sort of like your admin account settings. Most of us have just a, a solo Zoom account, so you are your own admin. So you might need to go to account management, account settings, and turn on AI Companion there so that once you do that, then as a user, you're both an admin and a user yourself, perhaps. Then you can go to the under personal, under settings, then you'll be able to turn it on. So like I said, this is the one checkbox that you, you should turn these on. And this one, you may not want to turn on. Uh, you may want to join a meeting, have the client join and see if they're comfortable before you start the AI, AI summary and get this wonderful uh, email after every Zoom meeting. So I hope this is helpful and uh, please feel free to comment below if you have any other uh, Zoom AI tips for others who are watching this. Thanks so much.